I'm going to show you how to use a free app called Pic Collage. It's an app you can use to create a digital image or poster. Start by selecting Freestyle, and then you get this blank page. So the plus sign right here, you can add photos from your camera roll. You can do a web search if it's okay with your teacher and add a photo from the web. You can add text, stickers, a background, and you can add a drawing. Let's pretend like I want to create a poster all about my dog, Zephyr. I'm going to go to Photos. I'm going to let Pic Collage access my photos. And I'm going to click on the picture of my dog, Zephyr. I want to write different things about him, adjectives to describe him. So I'm going to hit the plus sign. I'm going to add text. And I'm going to write Zephyr, so that way there is a title for mine. When I click on this drop right here, that's going to change the color of my text. So maybe I want Zephyr, the writing, to be this color. This one right here, the droplet with the background, that shows that there's going to be a background behind your word. So maybe I want a glitter background, and it'll look like that. If at any point I do not want a background at all, I'm going to click this button right here. The three dots right there show alignment. So do you want your words to be on the left side, centered, or on the right side? I want my words to be centered. I can go back to the T for text and I can choose which kind of font I want. I think I'm going to choose this font. When I'm ready, I'm going to press the green check. I can make Zephyr, the text, be larger by stretching it out, and I can move my picture to make it smaller. All right, maybe I want to add some stickers to my poster. When you click over here, you're going to see all of the free stickers. So maybe I want to add some hearts, click the check mark up here, and there's some hearts. You can switch between what image is up front and back by clicking on it. So, now my picture of Zephyr is up front and the hearts are behind it, but if I want the hearts to be shown up front, I need to tap on the hearts to make them be shown up front. I can also add a drawing. So I'm going to use the drawing tool to write words about my dog around him. I can choose the colors over here, and I can choose the size and width of my writing by using this scale. I'm going to write, oop, that was supposed to be an H. I'm going to click on the eraser, and I'm going to erase it because I wanted that word to say happy, and that was a little too thick. Here we go, I made it thinner now. Happy. Silly. And what's another word to describe Zephyr? I think probably sweet. All right, I'm going to click the check mark because I'm done with my drawing. And there are my words. If I wanted to select a background image, I'd click background and I can choose from any of the backgrounds that do not have a lock. So there's some patterned ones up here, and then there's some plain colors back here. Maybe I'll choose this blue. I'll hit the green check mark when I'm done. And there, I think I like that for my poster about my dog Zephyr. When I think I'm done, I'm going to hit the word done. Oops. Then I'm going to click save to library.